This is Salisaw Creek Park, a city park, and it's a beautiful spot in the greenery that surrounds Salisaw this time of year. This image alone should tell you that Salisaw doesn't deserve its depiction in the Grapes of Wrath. No, we don't, do we? Not anymore. With our great lush green landscape, it's a very vital area now. Judy Martins is the executive director of the Salisaw Chamber, and she points with pride to Salisaw's proximity to Great Lakes, like Ten Killer Reservoir and Robert S. Kerr, the beautiful Sequoia National Wildlife Refuge, and state parks like Ten Killer and Brushy Lake. She's also proud of the thriving downtown area. We have some great antique stores downtown and some other great specialty shops that draw a lot of our tourists to this area. Just because Salisaw has passed them doesn't mean that Salisaw doesn't remember the Dust Bowl and the Depression. This is the Old South Restaurant in Salisaw, owned by native son Larry Randolph, whose own family was split by the hard times. You can go to California and there's Okies almost in every town. I have relatives still out there. My older uncles and aunts and stuff like that have died off, but my folks never did leave except to go work in the crops in California and then we go to Western Oklahoma and pull bowls. Larry's family came back to Salisaw and he couldn't be happier. I was raised here and I hadn't lived in too many towns, but this is the only place I want to live. I don't want to move to a bigger town. It takes me six minutes to get to work. For the tourists, Salisaw is also home to one of our state's unique monuments to a favorite son. Sequoia's cabin sits in a beautiful wooded area just northeast of the city. It's very historic. This is Sequoia's home, original home. It's not been moved or anything. It's on the original spot he built it in 1829. And uh, it became a WPA project back in 1936 where they decided to enclose his home inside this building. So his home's never been moved and it's been inside this building since the mid-1930s. It was here that Sequoia created the Cherokee alphabet, an amazing accomplishment. The visitor can find inspiration here and in Salisaw, the city that survived the Grapes of Wrath.